I'm just going to be bold and say that this guy's name is incredibly boring. Like, come on, Pixar, you couldn't come up with something a little bit more exciting than that. I mean, I guess I understand if it's named after an employee, which it probably is, but still, bro, this one's pretty lame. And it segues into the perfect story that we're going to lead off with today that involves Rich Hurry, but who I actually refer to him as Clay Playfork. And I am very proud of that name. That is a name I came up with on my own that I refer to him as for a couple years now. Because if you guys don't know, he was actually canceled in late 2019. He was supposed to come out along with all those tractors, you know, the Tanko tractor, no cell tractor, combustor tractor, Hot Rod Louise Nash, Hot Rod Steve Herschel, all those guys long ago. And so we've known about him for a while. And why did we know about how did we know about them is because they have Walmart and Amazon listings in which their pictures were revealed. Now, this also means their UPCs were revealed. So I had this amazing idea one day. It was like sometime in March of 2020. Yeah, it was March 2020. And I decided to come up with this little prank in which I make my own case list that looks exactly like how they are officially like leaked with all the UPCs, all the names and everything. Like it was perfect. Put it like in a little Excel spreadsheet so it looks, you know, official. And I even like referred to some of these guys as like the weird names that case lists do. Like sometimes they'll be like, you know, McQueen fan or Pissing Cup fan or Pissing Cup reporter. So I just, oh my gosh, I absolutely fooled some of my friends and they hate me for it. It's like world renowned in our little group chat because I totally just they fell right in my trap and I called this guy clay play fork and it's just so funny oh my gosh <laughs> I think I put like every single canceled car from 2019 on this case list like the tractors and everything and it was perfect because when they went to scan the UPC like the actual listing came up but anyways welcome back sorry for the rant you guys probably already skipped here anyways but anyways let's get into it rich hurry two of him were in case K, which I just unboxed. I'll link that in the description below and card suggestion pop up. So check it out if you haven't seen it yet. It's a solid case. And I did decide to review the others before him, but that does not mean I like this guy. He might end up being my favorite from the case. Like I currently am undecided. But his artwork's pretty small. Like it's weird how like left oriented it is, you know, because we have this choking hazard over here and new for 2021. And just in the sound box too, this kind of pushes it all over. It still looks pretty good. He's obviously way darker than he actually ends up being here on the die cast. I don't know if it's just like the lighting and the collar pin bar, but yeah, especially the mint green. Like this is like chocolate mint chip or whatever. And then this is just like a very dark bland green and the mud helmet hat. Oh well. On the back here, as seen in Cars 3. Muddy Rusty's Racing Sarah McQueen, Trainer Cruz Ramirez, Jimmy Cables, Murray Clutchburn, and Ducky Fauntleroy, all of which have been out for a while now, and none of which are even new to Case K. What is new to Case K is this logo down here, empowering the next generation through play. So anything that is new to Case K and onward will have this logo. So that means the only cars that have it so far are Sterling, Clay Play Fork, AK Rich Hurry, Racing Red Cruz, and Dewey Conrad. So even though, you know, for example, this Mather was in the case, he does not have it because he had been released before. And if you guys have been watching like my reviews, like you know that, like I know I repeat myself in these videos, like Cave K, I'll link it in the description below, the good Cave, this is the new logo. I know I say that stuff every single time, but like I know there are some people who haven't seen those last two reviews. So anyways, I'll be right back with this guy all opened up. Okay, I think I can officially say this guy is my favorite from Case K, even though he's the last one I reviewed. He just looks so nice. Like, he just is unique. You know, these two, they're awesome releases. Like, I love them. They're probably, they'd be my favorite in any other case for the most part. But Rich Hurry just is really cool. I love the color, and he's unique. And that's what we kind of go for these days. I'll toss a little picture of him on the screen there. Again, looks darker, but it is a dark bar, so... I'll give Mattel some slack there. 
Now, what do I want to talk about? What do I want to talk about? What do I want to talk about? You know what? I'm going to try and show the picture of his original prototype there on the screen where he has like this experiment logo. Now, for some reason, there was like a split second in the movie where like Robert Jam Jones had a 93 logo on his side or something. It was like an animation glitch. And Mattel just took that and ran with it. So every single band member, every one of their prototypes has a Spearmint 93 logo on it. <laughs> it's the funniest thing, really, if you think about it. Obviously, none of those 93 logos made it to the die cast, which, thank God, because otherwise you might as well just call it Spearmint Pity. But yeah, animation glitch leads to massive stock image experiment pandemic whatever we're gonna start with the little accessories here now this sound box is identical to the one included with robert jam jones several actual oh my god oh my god i sound like an idiot now it is identical in appearance but definitely not size it is about three-fourths of the size of robert jam jones so here's robert by the way so that's really interesting actually i can't believe they actually made a smaller one. But that's cool, though. Like, I'm happy, you know. Now, it, when you set the whole band up, it looks a little bit more realistic because I'm pretty sure in the movie they weren't the same size. Yeah. Or maybe they just were trying to cut costs because we're already getting the slide guitar. But either way, it's a nice little accessory here. Got the little dials on there. Got the little handle. It's like it's split in half. Like, it almost looks like you pull these two parts to, off each other like a Lego. Same thing with this bigger one, but you can't. Or at least I haven't tried that hard. Now, both of these, this one feels a little bit more rubberish. Like it's a tacky, like when you run your finger across the speaker here, it's tacky. This one, a little bit. Maybe it's too small to tell, but it's a nice texture though. So that's nice, 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 nice. Now here's the little slide guitar. Kind of interesting how they did this. Like on the bottom here, we have these two like little circles. I don't really know what those are supposed to be. They're just like the rivets that hold these two pieces together, I guess. Nicely decaled. It's not a sticker. It's like printed on there. And again, this looks like you also pull it apart. It's odd. Legs are nice. Yeah. Can't complain about it. It's a pretty perfect height too. Maybe if it was a little taller, or maybe if the forks were a little lower, but still. You get the gist there. It looks pretty good. So now moving on to Rich himself. The best part of him, in my opinion, is his expression. It's so charismatic. You can see he's just really enjoying playing his little slide guitar. Like, he is enjoying it. He's feeling good. I wish they painted his teeth, though, because it looks like they're just that green color. So that kind of stinks. But yeah, he looks awesome. I love the placement of his forks here. I like how they're like turned to the right. And then also this one's like pivoted a little bit. It's rotated. And this one's kind of turned a little bit inward as well. So everything's moving. Like the whole apparatus is moving. Each prong is moving in a different direction. I like that a lot. The rims are also kind of like this green color. The base is the green color. P19A for the 19th week of 2021 at the A factory in Thailand. They really crammed a lot there on the base. But yeah, the windows look pretty good. Slightly grainy, but not bad. And then this brown cap is plastic. Yeah, this is awesome. I like this guy a lot. I'm a big fan. I don't think he's my favorite band member. I think Pam Wheeldaro is, but then he would be my second favorite. I like Robert Jam Jones. Like I love the guitar and everything, but the expression isn't as good as Rich Hervey's here. Now, the funny thing, too... I actually have a prototype of this guy. Here he is. And when I got him, I was bummed because I thought that the forks were like twisted. Like I thought they were like dented basically out of place. Now I opened this guy up and I saw that they were meant to be like that. So that's very exciting. <laughs> yes, it wasn't so bad after all. Yeah, I do have a little prototype of him. One of my favorites in my collection actually. So there you guys go. There is Rich Hurry. I do want to compare him to a few other pities, but there aren't many that are like him. I guess he is going to be the same model as Millie, or no? No. Who is he the same model as? I can't remember. 
But here's another guy who kind of has his forks in a similar position. This is Nat McLugnant. Or I think it's Nat. It's either Nat McLugnant or Michael Hansel, one of the airport pitties. You know, a couple members of Uncle Topolino's bands here just for laughs and giggles. You got Guido, just for a little size comparison. He's the most common pity. What pities have they released this year besides the band members and Millie? I don't really think they've done anyone else. So I don't think he's his own unique model, though. That's the thing. Here's a Piss and Cup pity, Nebuchadnezzar Schmidt. I know somebody was talking about like how there was no like unique pity model this year. Like I'm pretty sure somebody was talking about that because like we know that Double Clutch Daily and Pam Wheeldaro are the same model. But I don't know about I don't think Rich Hurry is duplicated. But I don't know. You guys let me know in the comment section below what is the most similar pity model to him. Because I completely might be messing up right now but i don't know it might even be one of the world grand prix pays like terrell gear tree but yeah we're gonna pull up the whole band now let me know in the comments below who is your favorite band member from the collar pin we now have like three complete bands in the cars universe isn't that wild we have like heavy metal mater uncle topolino's band and now sweet tea and the legends Pam Wildero is easily my favorite because I just love her drum set, but Rich is awesome too. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I've been trying my best to pump out the videos. This is like my little pre-recording stint before I go to college. This is already like the third video I've recorded today. And yeah, I've just got to get on that grind and try and have as many go out while I'm away at school. And then, so there's no dry period. We do not like dry periods. I'll see you guys soon. Bye now. Bye.